hopefully this works. I think I covered up the microphone last time, if there is one on this thing. Uh, anyway, um, earlier uh, today I was driving up to Philomath. Uh, go take care of something. And I was driving northbound here on... Uh, yeah, I forget what road it is. I can't see the sign from here. And I'm coming in this direction, and lady comes up, parks, or stops over there at that stop sign, and looks at traffic that's coming from this direction, and once the traffic passed her, she did not even look my way, pulled out right in front of me. So here's the aftermath of what a t-bird about a 2000 plus t-bird i don't know too much about it my light bar survived um kind of impressed in that um so there's the damage here and when i hit her it spun her completely 360 and Turned her right back into my into my side here. Threw the dollies off the truck. One of them we found in the middle of the road over there. The other one had hit this mailbox pole and actually knocked the, the mailbox off. I have to pay for that. Um, oop, there's a hole there. So there's the skid marks. You can see where the impact actually happened, where I started skidding sideways. Luckily enough, I had, uh, I guess, okay reaction, and instead of hitting her broadside right in the driver's door, I hit her in the nose. Uh, she ended up into that fence there, pushed that gate back and that pole over. Um, I think the truck kind of almost looks worse than it is. Uh, but we'll have to see once we start start tearing it apart and figure out what's going on with it. Um, I really hope this sound works this time. Um, Mark will be here soon to, to pick me up. I'm not sure, uh, not sure what we're going to do. Um, consensus right now is to try to repair her and get her back on the road as quick as possible and a little selfish so that I can start making some money again and we can continue to to build on what we were doing with the company I'm starting to actually uh, pull ourselves out and then of course this has got to happen so if anybody's got any uh, any spare parts or anything like that that we might be able to use to put the old girl back on the road uh, be very appreciative um, she's okay for the most part they took her to the hospital she was uh, uh, complaining about neck injury uh, which is kind of kind of standard in a, in a wreck these days just because you know it, it hurts um, but you know she's hopefully will be fine uh the last words the deputy said to me before he took off was he's going to the hospital to give her a ticket so any uh like i said any any help you guys can give uh really appreciate it i'm fine um i don't even think i said that in the last video that i tried to make um shook up a little bit of course um really the first accident that I've ever been in uh, doing this for you know since 95 you know I guess that's a few million miles that I've uh, driven without having an incident so I guess I really can't complain too much um, anyway um, just waiting for Mark uh, sorry if this video is uh, you know a little uh, amateurish um because that's what i am uh, this is the first video i've ever done um unfortunately it's done this way um 
hopefully I'll be able to get some uh, GoPros or something similar soon and, and be able to start taking more. Uh, we don't have too many, you know, super exciting uh, recoveries and stuff, but there are some. So I'd like to, been wanting to try something like this. A bunch of other guys out there have been doing it. And, and uh, you know, we don't have rotators or, you know, we're not diving over cliffs and stuff to get people most of the time. So it's really not that exciting. Um, hope everybody's safe. Uh, happy Monday. Um, so wish us luck.